Hey guys, welcome to programming knowledge. This is a third tutorial. Let's start. So before starting, first let's discuss what we have seen overall till now. We have seen what is Kiwi. We have seen why Kiwi is used, how Kiwi is used, and the advantages of using Kiwi over other languages. Then we saw the setup of Kiwi in the second tutorial. Followed by we saw how we are opening an app with code explanation and the displaying of text with code explanation. And then we have seen creating a button with code explanation. So in the last tutorial, we ended creating a button which is a full which is of full page. Now we see how we are going to alter the button in a smaller format. So for for doing that, we are going to set the button properties in the method for the code. Now, what is the button properties we require? We require the position of the button and size of the button. For position of the button, we use pos, which is position pos equals to value comma value. These are x and y axis we define in the method, which is pos equals to value comma value. Then we use for size of the button size underscore hint followed by the two values, which is value comma value, which we are going to define in the method. Let's now go and run this by applying in the code. No, first I will import the following button and the app, which is from kiwi dot app import app, then from kiwi dot uix dot button import button. No. I'm going to create a class this button app then I'm going to use the app which I have imported now I'm going to open the class file and define the method by def bild and self keyword now I have created the class created the de define the method now I'm going to create the variable called btn in which I'm going to store the button which I'm going to create right now. This button and provide the text which is equals to push me under the quotes. Now as discussed I'm going to use here the size and the pause which is size underscore hint is the button size and pos is the position of the button. Now comma size underscore hint here I'm giving equals to and I'm providing the point two comma point two which is the size of the button and pos equals to open the bracket I'm going to provide let us say three hundred comma two fifty it will be coming somewhere around here as I have defined 300 comma 250. So if I'm going to provide some other values according to those values button will be created. Let's say if I'm going one two or like any other values higher button size will be higher. Right now I have given point two comma point two so the button will be smaller and the position accordingly of the screen. So 300 to 250 means it will be coming somewhere around here. Okay, now coming back to the code, I'm going to return the button, which is by using return to make sure the button is uh, displayed. So I'm going to use the return, return button. Okay, now let's run the code by providing it in the main method, which is if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals to equals to inside the first to be underscore underscore main underscore underscore and I'm going to pre open the main method. Now let's run the button app by calling button app bracket dot run. So let's now run the code. What is the expected output? is like button will be coming over here with the size 0.2 comma 0.2 which is the length and the breadth and the position of the button will be coming 
in 300 comma 250 size of the screen let's now run the code so here we go as expected the button is created with the size of 0.2 comma 0.2 along with the 300 comma 250 which is over here if i'm going to provide some other values for the size underscore hint and the position so it will be coming like as uh, you are providing the size now let's go back and understand the code how it worked as you can see where if uh, like i'm running the button app dot run so it's coming over here and it will be coming under the definition method and it's taking the push me which we saw the push me text and the size underscore hint followed by the position this is how the alterations of button are done in the last tutorial we created the button which was in the full screen so you can go back and uh, take a look at the tutorial number two in which i have created the button so this is how it's going to run so we have altered the button using this code the coming tutorials we'll be seeing other parts of the library thank you for joining with programming knowledge